Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's first video. We're going to do weather for the week ahead for today's uh, first video. As always, on a Saturday, uh, we're having a detailed look at the weather for the coming week. I think later on we might update Snow Watch because there is going to be a risk of some snow across some parts of the country in the next few days. Uh, particularly focusing on the north and central and northwestern parts of the country tomorrow um, with snow showers. And then we've got a real headache for uh, Monday night into Tuesday morning. I'll talk about that for a weekend forecast. But we'll look at it in depth, I think for uh, Snow Watch uh, this evening. So it'll be probably with you around 7 o'clock, uh, something uh, like that. But kicking it all off is the uh, weekend forecast. So websites using for the uh, weekend forecast coming from the weatherout.com and wetsec.d and you can find a link to both those websites on the links page. This is the latest uh, radar picture from the weather outlook. So we've got a band of wet weather pushing southwards and eastwards. It's been a thoroughly wet cold and miserable morning across many parts of the country this morning. That rain, as I said, is pushing southwards and eastwards. You notice it's, it's starting to clear from parts of Wales and the Midlands now. And through the course of this afternoon, we should see that rain pulling away in towards the North Sea. Then we've got brighter skies, but still with showers. And those showers are a bit wintry up in the north and the west. And you just see these echoes coming here into the far west of the uh, Irish Republic. So that's our next area of wet weather that's going to be pushing across um, central parts of the country, northern parts of the country, through the course of tonight. And there's a risk of rain and snow with that. Also, the wind will get up. It'll be quite a windy night, especially through central parts of the country. So here's today's sort of pressure chart. We're getting rid of one weather system from the east, but this next little area of low pressure heading in towards Ireland this afternoon is our next uh, weather system that will be pushing across the country tonight. So we're going to see the rain clearing from the south and the southeast this afternoon. Bright skies will push in from the west. Um, then we'll have uh, a few showers up in the north and the west through the early part of the afternoon before more general uh, wet and windy weather sets in across Ireland and uh, particularly Northern Ireland through the course of uh, this afternoon and into this evening. Temperatures are going to be quite uh, chilly today, ranging from around, say, uh, 2 to uh, 6 or 7 degrees, so feeling quite cold, especially so in that wind. Overnight tonight, that low pressure will move through the central part of the country. It's got some quite tightly packed isobars with that as well, so not only will it be turning wet, it'll also be turning uh, windy as well. Heavy rain across Ireland will push through into uh, southern Scotland, northern England, probably parts of Wales, the Midlands and East Anglia as well. Turning very windy, we could see the wind reaching gale force for a time uh, around Irish sea coast uh, this evening and overnight. It won't only be rain, there will also be some snow with that as well and that's particularly for the high ground of northern England and probably up into southwest of Scotland, down to low levels uh, for those areas. Don't expect, or don't rule out the chance of some snow over the Welsh mountains and maybe for parts of the North Midlands as well uh, with this system. Down in the south and the southeast, I think we have a reasonable amount of dry weather there. Up in the north, it'll be a very cold night and there'll be snow showers for central and northern parts of Scotland. Temperatures might go as low as around minus five and minus six degrees in the far north of Scotland tonight. In the far southwest of England, though, temperatures should hold up at around plus five or plus six. Uh, down there and there will be problems with ice I think later in the night especially where we've all have had all of that rain and snow through the central swathe of the country. Now into tomorrow we're into a, an unusually cold run of uh, west to northwest winds. I'll just show you the upper air temperatures uh, with that so you see that the minus 10 isotherm is actually pushing in towards western parts of Scotland on this westerly wind. That is very unusual for an, uh, for an Atlantic uh, wind. So it's going to be a, a cold day tomorrow with those uh, brisk westerly winds. They'll be feeding in heavy snow showers to Scotland. Heavy snow showers also will push through Northern Ireland into parts of Northern England, particularly northwestern England, and down into uh, northern and western parts of Wales as well. We may set up a bit of a streamer through the Cheshire Gap, so that could take some snow showers down into the Midlands, particularly northern and western parts of the uh, Midlands too. 
And there will be a risk of accumulations of snow, uh, even to low levels, actually, for northern and western parts of the country. We'll cover this more in snow watch later on today. Further south and southeast of that, well, there will be a few winter showers scattered about, but actually many southern southeast parts of the country will probably have a reasonably dry day with sunny spells. It's going to be cold. Temperatures in the north of Scotland are going to struggle to get above freezing, really. Down in the south, we're probably up to around 4, 5 or 6 degrees, but in all areas, it is going to feel uh, really quite cold. Into Monday, and it's another cold day. We're under a slight bump of high pressure for Monday ahead of this next weather system pushing in from off the Atlantic. Fun and games with that on Monday night. But for Monday itself, actually, the showers should be lighter. Uh, there will still be winter showers around, and they'll be mostly falling in snow into low levels in the north and the west. But generally, they'll be lighter, they'll be more scattered, especially so in the second half of the day and just some decent sunny spells coming through on Monday. It'll be another cold day though with temperatures ranging from around freezing in the north to 5 degrees in the south. By the end of the day a band of rain, sleet and snow will be heading into western Scotland and uh, northern Ireland. Now this weather system is pushing in off the Atlantic overnight Monday into Tuesday. Here it comes. And it's running into cold air. It also has cold air behind it. And the warm sector, because you always get a warm sector with uh, areas of low pressure, but the warm sector with this one is quite limited. So we really are on a knife edge here between either having a lot of cold rain or having quite a lot of snow. And there'll probably be a mix of the two in some areas of these air masses mix out again. I'll cover this more in Snow Watch later. But I expect what happens on Monday night is that we start off with a widespread frost in many parts of the country, then a band of rain, sleet and snow in the north and the west gradually pushes southwards and eastwards. Notice there's tightly packed ice bars with this again, so it's likely to be windy. I think in the south it's likely to be mostly rain, but from the Midlands northwards, I suspect there could be some quite significant and maybe even fairly disruptive snow on Monday night, and that will be especially over high ground, but not exclusively so. Temperatures will be cold after that frosty start. They'll only lift up to around 2 or 3 degrees. Expect ice problems as well with this rain and snow as it moves in. And then as it clears, probably followed by more frost and ice and snow showers into the north and to the west as well. Real headache for forecasters Monday night. Uh, Tuesday takes that uh, weather system away to the east and we build up this little bump of high pressure ahead of his next area of low pressure that's developing in the Atlantic. So Tuesday will be a calmer day. We probably start off with quite a lot of rain, sleet or snow across eastern parts of the country. That clears away into the North Sea through the morning. And then essentially it's a mostly dry day with sunny spells, just a few winchy showers scattered about. It'll be cold down Tuesday, and the temperatures ranging from around 2 to 6 degrees. The next area of low pressure heads in uh, from Tuesday to Wednesday. Now, this one's a little bit further north in the Atlantic, so the snow risk with this should be a little bit less. There's also quite a big warm sector uh, coming in with this area of low pressure. So we probably have another widespread frost on Tuesday night. East area is likely to be frosty even on Wednesday morning. But out in the west, a band of heavy rain will be moving in off the Atlantic Ocean. And then that one sweeps in across the country through the course of Wednesday. Now for England and Wales, because we've got a bigger, warmer sector, I think it's likely to be mainly uh, rain. But go further north in towards northern England and particularly up to Scotland. And there will again be a risk perhaps of some quite significant and disruptive snow. So um, despite the rain in the south, however, at least it will be mild with temperatures there possibly for a time going up to around 10 to 12 degrees so very mild actually down in the south and southeast just for a few hours on Wednesday before the rain clears away and colder air starts to tuck in behind but up in the north it's going to be another really cold day actually with temperatures of just 2 or 3 degrees at best. By the time we go through to Thursday, we're into this cold run of westerly wind. Such a lot going on in the week ahead. And by the way, Wednesday could also have some severe gales thrown in uh, with that wet weather. Thursday, though, is a day of sunshine and showers. It will be a windy day with, uh, again, risk of gales for northern and western parts of the country. Quite cold air coming in around this low pressure, so showers will be windy, particularly so up in the north. Down in the south, we should get a reasonable amount of dry weather with sunny spells. Temperatures on Thursday are going to be colder again, especially so in the south after that very mild 
uh, interlude for a few hours on Wednesday. We're back down to just five or six degrees, so you'll notice a drop in temperature from Wednesday to Thursday in the south. And in the north, barely up to two or, or uh, three degrees, and feeling colder than that in those westerly winds. And then we're into Friday, and we continue with this west to north westerly flow across the country, so further sunny spells and showers. The only thing about Friday is that the isobars are more spaced out, so it won't be as windy. We shouldn't see as many showers being driven inland, but what showers there are, particularly up in the north, will be uh, wintry. Temperatures on Friday will be quite cold, again ranging from 2 to 6 degrees, and there'll be a widespread frost early and late on uh, Friday morning and again on Friday night. And then into next weekend, and this might be the first signs of impacts from that sudden stratospheric warming we've been talking about in the videos lately, because in the week, uh, uh, up next weekend, as we go through next weekend, we start to find increasing signs of high pressure building both to our north and to our west as this low pressure begins to slink down across the country. Could this be the start of locking us in, getting us into a locked in? cold and blocked pattern there's too much uncertainty about it at the moment there's a lot of intra model variation but i would just say watch your space as we go through next weekend we may see the weather becoming colder and also the risk of snow might increase through next weekend and then that would particularly be the case as we go into the following week so at the moment it is still uncertain but the indications are there that we could start to move into quite a prolonged cold spell with the wind maybe getting into the east uh, starting next weekend. Watch this space on that. Finally, just having a look at charts from weather outlook. So here's all the wet weather that we've got across England and Wales at the moment. That'll clear away through the course of this afternoon, but more rain will push into the north and to the west too. As we go into Sunday, we've got all of these snow showers piling into the west. There could be significant snow in place is possibly even merging into some longer spells of snow perhaps in some western parts of the country and accumulations are possible as well we'll cover this in snow watch this evening through into uh, monday so there will still be winter showers about but they should be lighter and more scattered uh let's run through to uh monday night and into Tuesday as well, so we find all of this wet weather pushing across the country overnight Monday and Tuesday. There will be either rain or significant snow in with that as well. Also, we'll cover that on Snow Watch. This is Wednesday, where we've got a lot of wet weather piling in from the Atlantic. The risk of snow on Wednesday is mainly up in the north. I think down in the south, we're looking at mostly rain for England and Wales. And then as we go through into Thursday and indeed on Friday too, we're back to sunny spells and wintry showers, quite cold uh, as well as we end the week. And then maybe getting even colder next weekend with the risk of um, some quite uh, hard overnight frost, maybe severe frost and even snow increasing from next weekend if we start to set up that large blocking feature to our north. Watch your space. So, in summary, it's another one of those very, very topsy-turvy weeks that we've had a lot of through this winter. Um, we're going to be seeing gale force winds at times. We're going to have bouts of heavy rain. There'll be snow in there as well. Significant snow in places at times as well. Uh, frost, ice, but also, very briefly, in the south anyway, it turns very mild on Wednesday. Um, and just a huge amount going on. So, do keep checking back for all of the twists and turns in the week ahead. And as I say, later on today, we'll uh, do snow watch. This is uh, snow watch. So have a look in more depth at the risk of snow both tonight and also on um, Monday, uh, tonight and tomorrow. Also on Monday night and into Tuesday um, with snow watch coming up this evening. Right, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.